Jonathan Ofe channel. Checking in. Jonathan here, and today I've got a brand new high stim pre-workout from Huge Supplements. I have from the people who brought you Wrecked and Wrecked Extreme. I have their brand new Wrecked Enrage, and I've got it in Blood Orange and their limited edition Death Wish Halloween flavor. And we're gonna dive in. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. I drop new supplement reviews every week. And a little bit of a backstory on the company. Huge supplements. I'll put all the information in the description of today's video. They have been around for a while and they've made some beloved bangers of a products. Their wrecked pre-workout is one of my favorites. It is a great everyday driver if you are into stimulants. It is a strong one. Also, their pump serum constantly makes my top pump products because it is literally over the top. So what they do as far as ingredients go, what they're known for is that they take whatever should be in a pre-workout or should be in a product and they just throw more on top. They've got that mentality that if, if some is good, more must be better. And we've got their brand new Wrecked in Rage and I've got this a little bit early so I was able to use this six times. And don't tell anyone, but I probably used it more than I should because this thing is strong. One bottle, 20 servings, one serving, 10.4 grams. And when you're dealing with a high stim pre-workout, always weigh out your scoops. You don't want to over scoop something this strong. Coming in with beta alanine at four full grams, 800 milligrams more than the clinical dose. That's going to give you those tingles. We also have for focus, Focus, Alpha GPC at a whopping 1,000 milligrams, typically at least 400 milligrams over what most dosages are with regards to pre-workouts. That is a great nootropic, a great focus factor, factor ingredient. We've got Hooperzine A at 350 micrograms, another whopping dose. Araya J at 350 milligrams. That's another whopping dose. That's gonna help with mood. That's gonna help with some focus. And that's all around gonna be a feel good ingredient. So let's talk about caffeine. That's why we typically get our pre-workouts. You get caffeine citrate. That is the fast acting, kicks in super quick, 50 milligrams. So as soon as you start drinking this thing, you're gonna feel it. Caffeine and hydrous at 300 milligrams and then dicaffeine malate at 75 milligrams. So you're going to get 400 plus milligrams of caffeine. That's like four cups of coffee all in one. 25 milligrams of isopropyl synephrine. That's going to get your body warm and ready to hit those weights. We've got Halo Stasheen at 50 milligrams and black pepper extract at 10 milligrams. Flavors. Typically when it comes to high stim pre-workouts, you just chug them down because they taste like caca. Guess what? This is the exception to the rule. Blood Raz tastes like an orange raspberry. It's got a nice twist to it. It's got a flavorable kick, no chemical aftertaste. The one that I really liked the best was the Death Wish. This is like a blueberry, but with a twist. I almost drank this thing too fast. Um, and we're gonna talk about why you don't wanna drink this thing too fast when we get into how it performed. As far as cost on the website, I'll put a link in the description. Code NOFA247 gets you at least 10% off. It brings it down to just over $2 per serving. And unfortunately in today's day and age, that's right where we are with regards to the average for pre-workout cost. We We've seen much, much higher than that, but $2 per serving is by no means overpaying for a pre-workout. I've used Rect and Rage far too many times than I'd like to admit. To be honest with you, it's so strong, I probably should have given myself more of a break between uses, but I used it for leg day, arm day, back day, high reps, and even PR days, and I am happy to report it handled the same across the board. at that 10 minute mark. 
that caffeine citrate, you feel it just start ramping up and the energy and the caffeine is high. The beta alanine gives you some really nice tingles that I know many of you enjoy. And once you get going, you do feel a sense of urgency of really wanting to get into those weights to hit your workout and to just go set after set after set. The focus was really good and I do love my high, strong, laser-like focus pre-workouts. This is absolutely one of them. And unfortunately, there are no pump ingredients in here. When you think of a high stim pre-workout, they typically put very little or no pump ingredients, but that's okay. You're gonna be moving so fast and the isopropyl synephrine countered with the caffeine that they put in here and that J is gonna get your blood boiling and you're gonna feel like you're gonna be pumped out of your mind. I know you're gonna be asking in the comments, so I'm just gonna answer it right now. The differences between wrecked pre-workout and wrecked in rage. So for those of you not familiar, wrecked pre-workout, a beloved pre-workout, known for being like a high stim, almost everyday driver. It's a little bit too strong to be every day, but it's got an all around great design and it absolutely hits. This one is gonna be stronger. It's got a bit more boost of mood and it is gonna be stronger on the energy level, but I will say that this one's no chump either. So if you're looking for a high stim to move the needle, go with Wrecked and Rage. If you're looking for something that's going to get the job done every day of the week, if you have a high tolerance, yeah, this one will do it definitely. As far as which one I prefer, I would probably point the finger at Wrecked in Rage only because I tend to like stuff that I can use frequently even though I use this one a little too frequently, I know I probably should be using this once a week. Any questions I may have left out, drop them in the comments below. I'll get them answered ASAP. If you came this far in the video, you and I are like B.A. Baracus and Hannibal. We are best friends. We are apple pie and ice cream. Thanks for watching, and as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.